Welcome back to EMT.Classroom. This is an EMT Films short series where we're going to be covering some of the more educational aspects about filmmaking. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So let's talk about the advantages of planned lighting to tell your story. Intensity. The intensity of light can have a dramatic effect on how the subject may look. For example, harsh lighting versus soft lighting. Now you may notice for harsh lighting, there's no diffusion. That is cause there's no film sheet or a white cloth to diffuse the light from thus causing harsher shadows on the subject. Now this is a look that you may or may not want to go for, whereas soft lighting has diffusion, has a film sheet over it, or a white piece of cloth, thus allowing for the light to cause less harsh shadows, which means that the subject has visibly less noticeable shadows on it, and the light is evenly distributed across the subject. Now, let's move on to the lens. Now I know in the last video I said I was going to cover a little bit more about the lenses. So without further ado, let's get right into that. Lenses come in a variety of focal lengths and aperture speeds. For example, f-stops and t-stops, super wides to telephoto. From 16mm to 200mm, they come in a variety of builds and aperture speeds. Now you might be asking, to find the difference between f-stop and t-stop. Now the only way I know how from my personal experience is that F-stops mainly associate with photo lenses, and now not all photo lenses are built the same way, so light travels through the barrel differently than how it would on a cinema lens, which cinema lenses are all built the same way depending on the brand. That wraps up that, so let's move on to tone with lighting and color. So depending on the atmosphere and the tone that you want to set, or the depth that you want to create in your video or film, you may want to use different lighting colors. For example, there are lights that are bicolor, which come in either warm or cold, or in other words, tungsten or daylight. Now what you might be asking, what does that even mean? Well, there's a spectrum, and on that spectrum, there are numbers that are rated in Kelvin from 2700 Kelvin to 5000 Kelvin. On one end, 2700 Kelvin is warm, whereas 5000 Kelvin is cold. And the range goes from not always, but majority of the time goes from 2,700, 3,000, 3,500, 4,000, 5,000. Now, use this to light your subjects, but keep in mind that your backgrounds are just as important. So if you want to create depth, you also want to light your backgrounds and isolate the two. Backgrounds and subjects require their own lighting plan. Separating the two can help create depth. You can look for examples in a variety of samples of work. Who knows, that might inspire your creativity to create an even more interesting image. And that pretty much covers lighting for right now. So if you like this video, remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and make sure to leave a positive and constructive comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.